two really beautiful rose bushes. And uh, he planted them for us out near the edge of our driveway. And uh, they're just filled with uh, fuchsia-colored rose blossoms or petals. Uh, and they're looking really good. Um, we were actually remembering to water them on a regular basis. And uh, I don't know what else you'd have to do for roses. Some of you are gardeners out there, but there might be a day we have to feed them something special. I don't know. If they get bugs on them to give them some sort of treatment or trim them back. Uh, that has not always been the case, though, with plants at our house. Uh, sometimes they start out so beautiful, and then they wither, and their blossoms all dry up and get brown and fall off. And, uh, and part of the reason that sometimes happens is that, and I'm not just blaming Jean, it's me too, we're not the, the best to remember to give those roses or plants or whatever they are, what they need. Water, the right kind of level of sunshine, so, you know, um, and maybe trimmed from time to time. If we don't attend to our lives on a regular basis, to, to to access the things that we need to, to survive and to live a healthy life, then we wither too, don't we? Amen. Our spirits wither away. And so what we come to do every week is part of that watering of our lives. Uh, because our lives get gumped up with bad decisions, words we wish we could take back, things we do impulsively, now we regret them terribly. Uh, and, and sometimes those things happen over and over again over a period of time and our, our, our lives can be completely uh, chaotic. And uh, part of coming to God every week is to deal with that. To, to, to water our lives with his forgiveness. And so let me invite you to bow for just a moment of personal prayer, silent prayer, and then we shall join together in the prayers printed in the bulletin. Let us pray together. In our ignorance, we have made bad decisions and made life difficult for those around us. In our willfulness, we have pursued goals that we know are evil and corrupting. In our foolishness, we have lost our way and blundered into situations that degrade. In our selfishness, we have withheld compassion from those who wounded it. In our pig-headedness, we have clung to opinions and deeds that are unworthy. In our fickleness, we have betrayed the deep values of Christ for shallow pleasures. In our sinfulness, we have disappointed ourselves, those around us, and your Holy Spirit. Savior of the world, we open our hearts to your grace, mercy, and peace. Create a clean heart within us, loving God, and renew a healthy spirit within us. Through Christ our Redeemer. Amen. Family of God, Christ has not come to bind our mistakes and sins on us, but to loose the bonds and give us liberty. In his name I declare the forgiveness of sins and the life that is eternal. If Christ sets you free, then you are free indeed. Thanks be to God. Amen.
Let me invite you to take your hymnals again.